What are the three main causes of hair loss in perimenopause and menopause? Number one, progesterone. Why? Because we steal the precursors to make progesterone to make cortisol because we're stressed out. So yes, stress does cause hair loss, but how does it do it? Because it depletes progesterone levels. Next, DHT, dihydrotestosterone elevates. This is a type of androgen. How does that happen? Well, when you get stressed out, you start to convert to making more androgens. DHT is a form of that. So it is a form of testosterone. If that's too elevated, you could be having some hair loss. The next one, dysbiosis. So that is gut imbalances. What can that mean? Well, you're not absorbing iron, you're not absorbing nutrients, you're not absorbing biotin. Biotin is made in the gut. That's why it's in all of the hair, skin, and nails formulas is because we've researched this and we know that biotin is directly connected to hair loss. But why? No one's ever asked you know me that. They're like, oh, I just take my hair, skin, nails things. Well, why do you take it? Because you are not making enough biotin in your gut. So these are crucial things to be thinking about. Dysbiosis means your bacteria are out of balance, your yeast are out of balance, your viruses. Yes, we have those in our gut. They naturally live there. Parasites too. They're not all bad. Sometimes we can live in harmony with these things, but if they get out of balance, we start to have trouble. So if you have any gas, bloating, gut symptoms, you might have hair loss due to dysbiosis. How do we check all these things? You can check DHT in your blood. You can check progesterone in your blood. You can also check it via the Dutch test, which is a hormone metabolism test via urine. Now, how do you check dysbiosis? You can check that as well via the blood using the Excella internal fitness test, get a little finger poke, and you can find out, do you have the markers for dysbiosis? Now, you can also take an organic acids test from Great Plains Labs. You could also do a stool test. I prefer the metabolism test because they show you exactly what's going on in real time. Yes, it's nice to know what bacteria in your gut, but what can you do about those individual bacteria? Not much. On your own, if you find out your metabolism is off, your dysbiosis is not, you know, your gut bugs are off, you have dysbiosis and you're not balancing your bugs in your gut, well, that could be contributing to that hair loss. So what do you do about it? You work on eating foods rich in fiber, your veggies. You can work on taking more probiotics or eating fermented foods. There's lots of options here versus taking hair, skin, and nails formulas and hoping it's going to work. So if you're heading into perimenopause or menopause and you're struggling with hair loss, get these three things checked right now to know what is going on. If you like this information, you can find out more on my YouTube channel where you're at right now, or you can head over to drjkrausnd.com for more resources or check out my podcast, The Health Fix. I'm Dr. Janine Krause. Thanks for watching.